This show features adults using adult language and discussing mature topics. You have been warned. You are very good, I don't know yes. what's going on. <laughs> I unmuted right when you said that, so that was great. Hello, uh, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back to Mists oh. of Prince Valley. Um, when we last left off, the group was fighting a bunch of barbarians and druids and whatnot. Strahd was there, just making, just goading everybody. Uh, apparently, Irina isn't dead-ish. I don't know. She's on the back of his horse that has a flaming mane and tail and the hooves that can fly and apparently um, turn invisible or something. I, I don't know what that was about. Um, and after a very tough battle on this huge hill, you guys encountered a certain fellow that told you his name was Laszlo, and he was kind of like a corvum, but the only difference was his wings on his arms were significantly bigger, and he was actually able to have full flight. Um, and he covered you guys as you made the tough decision of, do we go north, like he said, towards the winery? Or do we go east with this crazy big-eyed, big-eyebrowed big bear guy that, um, pretty sure is that crazy wizard that you guys met before and you ended up going with the the crazy wizard bear so we start there as your group is running through the woods making making an escape um and as you're running through the woods there are still some of these um wildlings chasing after you so as we're running through here, and let's roll initiative. Finally, even Sakari. Finally, I do. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. 23. Holy crud. Okay. 23 for the Saxton. How about uh, Tim Tam? Uh, 18. Nice, nice. And Nim? 14. 14. And how about Hemlock? 10. Sweet. All right, so Saxton, you are first. You guys are running away from them. I would just say in general, just because there's so many trees and stuff that you guys are going through of various sizes, um, everyone, that includes you and the people you're fighting against, have um, quarter cover. So everyone has a plus two to their AC right now. Um, Is that even against one. melee attacks? Yeah, that's just in general. It's, and I like to think that that AC difficulty is you like trying to hit them through a tree, you know? Makes it a little more difficult. Um, but it's the same for them, too. If they're trying to swing an axe at you, they gotta be swinging through that same tree. Um, uh, but how much, you said? Uh, quarter, plus quarter, two quarter cover, oh, okay. I think is plus two AC, but that's that's what we'll, that's what we'll go with. So, um, okay, Saxton, it is your turn first. You guys are retreating, but there is enough room here that you could run back and continue pummeling them if you want. There are you currently see one of those big barbarian guys with that great axe, and he was chasing you guys through the trees. Is there only one barbarian left? Uh, yes, but following suit, you know, are quite a few druids. You can hear them coming through the bushes and stuff. What is the, uh, what would you say the positioning is for us uh, in the retreat? Who's on point? Who's on the rear? You are the most mobile out of everybody, so you can be wherever you want to be. You could have been in the front and you can make it back. And I would say probably Hemlock and um, the bear are in the front. Because the bear is kind of leading you guys somewhere, and Hemlock well, is up there. Tim Tam was with me. And Tim yeah. Tam is, I, I will say they're like side by side with the bear, and the bear's in the middle. And then Nim's probably up into trees, hopping through the trees above you guys. I guess for right now, just continue the withdrawal, trying to break contact. 
All right. Um, so I would move my 50 feet and take a dodge. All right. Uh, Tim Tam, you're next. Do you attempt to attack your pursuers or do you just continue to flee? Are we dashing? Uh, you can if you want to. Well, I don't want to get ahead of the bear. Is the bear uh, dashing? The bear looks like it's dashing, yeah. Then I will follow then. Big old grizzly bear. I should get their stats up. All right. And then after Tim Tam, we got Nim, who's, I would just say, by default, I, I, if you're fine with that, you're up in the trees and you're just, since you got that innate hopping movement, you're just hopping from branch to branch. That's exactly the way I'd want a player, yeah. Um, I would try to use my full movement and my action to dash, but use my bonus action to dodge. Okay. And then uh, we'll go to Hemlock. Hemlock, you are just running? Uh, yeah. With the bear. Okay. Since since you guys aren't going to be attacking them and you're continuing through the woods following this bear, um, we're going to go into chase rules. Which I can never fully remember. Alright, so... That's right. Um, Saxton, roll me a d20. Since you are first in initiative. Four. Okay. That's a, just a straight d20, right? Yes. Okay. Here we are. So, um... Coming up ahead, as you're running in front of you, there's a bunch of thick hedges. And um, you have to avoid them. So make me an acrobatics check to get over, over top of them in time. 24. All right, you easily jump over them. Uh, up next, it is Tim Tam's turn. Tim Tam, roll me a d20. Seven. Seven. Yep. Hmm. Uh, as you're running up ahead, there's a sudden drop in elevation from where you're at. Um, normally, it would have you do a strength or athletics or dexterity acrobatics check, but because you're a corvum, you can just glide if you want. I will. Okay, so no check needed. Um, after you, it is Nim's turn. So Nim, roll me a d20. Alrighty. Six. Everybody getting complications. So, um, <laughs> as actually, this one's perfect for you, because you're up in the trees. As you're jumping through the tree branches and stuff, a bunch of vines impede your way as you're jumping through. Um, so I'll need you to make a dexterity saving throw to avoid getting caught in these vines. Okay, I do have to ask, since I took the dodge action, do I get to roll that dex check at advantage? Yes. Cool. Because you're being extra. 13 on the first one. I'm not liking this. I'm rolling. Never mind. 21. All right. Um, you jump through, and it looks like your your foot was going to get caught in one of the vines, but you uh, you are surprised yourself as your foot just immediately slips out of it, and you just keep going. Uh, Sir Barrington, his turn. 
This might suck because he's in bear form. Of course he rolls no complication. The bad guy's chasing after you. They so roll a nat 20. Cool. Um, Hemlock. Only a I already rolled because I thought it was my turn. I got 17. 17. Nothing happens to you. So you guys continue running. And uh, I would say every turn that you guys make it through. Let's see. Okay, so no one's ma made any any pull or anything. They haven't advanced towards you, but they, you haven't lost them either. So we loop back around to Saxton again. Yeah, is the barbarian still on point? of them or how far ahead is he from the, the casters um you could probably just barely see the casters way in the distance in the trees but they and are also the running bar? um the barbarian guy i would say is within your move if you want to immediately you know, just like heal around a 180 within less than 50 feet or yeah within your within your move so i would say probably 40 feet away Yeah, I'll swing around a clock him real quick. All right. Roll to hit. All right. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, a Fury of Blows on him. Okay. So as all of you are running through the woods... Oh, that duck kind of scared me for a half second there. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I just look over and it's just... <laughs> uh, uh, Saxton just immediately turns around and goes back to punch this uh, barbarian guy. 17. 17 hits. All right. He's pretty beat up. He's not bloodied, but he's pretty beat up. He seems to be chasing after you with fanatical eyes, like he's being a martyr. Hello. Wow. Hello. That was weird. My internet pooped that time. I don't know how much you heard, but I was just saying he looks he looks crazy. He has like a crazed look in his eyes. Like he's willing to die. Did for you this. hear Did you hear that I hit for eight? No, I did not. Okay. I landed for eight damage. Okay. And he can't make reactions against me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit my other Fury Blows. 18. 18 hits. He takes 10 damage. All right. And I'll need a... Uh, what, is it? what is that? Is it stun? Uh, no. I'm going to need a strength check on him. Okay. Uh, he got an eight. An eight? Mm-hmm. He falls prone. Okay. Nice. Like, I think your attack is like a leg sweep or something. And now I will uh, dash with my action to catch back up to the group. Did you use Flurry of Blow? Yes. Because that takes your bonus action. Yes, but I didn't use my action. Your action was the punchies. No, the action was the Fury of Blows. I, I used my bonus action first. Okay. So I, 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 think so I, I used I my think bonus I action was the Fury what you were you were trying to say so you moved you used your attack action to go boop boop and then you're using your bonus action to dash back because no i use uh, you only use of flurry of blows as a bonus action and you can only use it after you've used an attack action it's like additional attacks on top of the attack okay but, but it it's fine uh so you move back uh okay. after 
after you, then... Actually, no, you'd still have to roll, because we're going to chase. Roll me a flat d20. As you're running back. 18. No, you have no other complications, so that's good. Uh, after you, it is Tim Tam's turn. He's this uh, guy that you knocked prone. He was doing pretty bad. That last hit you got on him, like, swole, swole up his face a bit, so you can't see out of one eye. But he's currently prone. Okay, so I'll keep running. All right. For with uh, 13. Uh, 13, no complications. So you just keep going. Um, Nim. Oof, 10. 10, I think. Yeah, okay, so a, a small group of um, smaller trees are growing really close to each other up ahead, and it doesn't give you enough room to be able to jump onto their branches. You'd have to get around them. So give me an acrobatics check or an intelligence check. Your choice. Considering my acrobatics is plus 10, I'm going to go with that one. It's plus 10? Yeah, plus 10. The, the, DC, the DC is 10, so you succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it works for me. All right, I, that made that easy. Well, truth be told, I'm glad it was because I rolled in at one. So technically, eleven. <laughs> you technically you still pass. <laughs> Sir Barrington rolls. Uh, what? Okay, so I'll I'll just tell you they have different charts for different terrains for chase complications, and for forest one of the options they have is panicked monkeys. So I'm gonna have a small little group of wild chickens get in the way. They have black we're, feathers we're and they look very run. evil, the little red eyes, um, but they act like normal chickens, and they get in the way of. Uh, our bear friend. So he's going to either have to do a strength check to force his way through him, or he's going to have to do a dex check to get around him. Unfortunately, because he's a bear, he's just going to football player tackle his way through these poor chickens. Wait, it's a, it's a saving throw? It was either an athletics check or an acrobatics. Okay, I will use my flash of genius to give plus five to that bear. <laughs> okay, with a 28 on his strength check. <laughs> okay. You don't see the poor chickens anymore. You just see some black feathers in the distance. As you just oh. plow straight through them all. The seven craving. He looks chicken. back and you notice his eyebrows are a different color, and then you realize that they're black feathers and they fall off his face and he keeps going. <laughs> Does it have like a, a mustache and everything with black feathers? Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Um then it is Mlock. Okay. Eleven. Eleven, uh, no complications. Sweet. Now, <laughs> now the you guys can't really see what's going on, but the you definitely know for sure that that guy is getting up, um, and those the rest of those druids are still chasing after you, and you hear a bit of combat in the background. Um, and after another round or two of you guys running you realize that you do not have any pursuers on you anymore. Broke contact and his nose. And the, um, the bear um, has his head up and his nose is sniffing around. And then he just lays down and is just panting. Because he has a heck of a long... He was running all the way up that hill to get to you guys. And then running through these woods. Uh, as he lays down, a, a um, stray chicken falls out from the underfold of his belly, and it just goes off somewhere. Ow! And he's just breathing heavy. Um, Breather. 
You doing okay, big guy? I haven't ran that much in like forever. Hmm. I just need a minute. Okay. He needs a minute. He needs cardio. Shh. I understand him. He says to you, Hemlock. He can understand you, so maybe you should be a little bit nicer. Do you Last time, have... if it's the same person I think he is, he fried my tail feathers. Nice is not on the menu at the moment. The bear lets out an angry growl, and Hemlock hears, and I'll do it again. Okay, okay, boys. Boys, you're both you know, uh, oh, yeah, and he like he stands up on two legs when he does that, and he just like growls at you. Okay, all right. There's no need for that, Mr. Bear. I don't know you. Uh, I see you've met my friends. I, I I don't think that there's gonna be any more complications between the two of us, uh, two of our groups. And if you, uh, my friend Saxton, is a little grumpy, but we can get through this just like we can get through everything so it's gonna be okay now can you tell us your name just then um his form seems to shake and shrink and it reverts smaller and smaller size and then suddenly coming the the fur seems to just disappear and popping out in its place are a bunch of feathers Especially at the eyebrows, like two giant feathers, just like point, point. Um, oh. And you see this ashen gray, um, great horned owl. I remember, I need to check. Wearing wizardly robes, but they are very tattered. Oh, yeah, yeah great horned owl. I can sew them up if you if you would like. Got a, I think I got a stone kit in here somewhere. And you notice he is carrying a staff with him, but it does not look very fancy. It has some engravings in it and stuff. Very crudely made. So, so, do you think we're still agents of asshole back there? You might be. But a promise is a promise. And the least I can do is give you safe haven, at least some rest, and we can discuss this further. But not here. Oh. Why not? Uh, that's when you all notice right behind him lies no. Strahd. God. And he's just leaning on a tree. <laughs> Probably can't you discuss that here. And then there's this asshole. I gave you all the chance. I don't remember inviting you to this party. Party? <laughs> uh, you're in my party. How are you doing, Tim Tam? Better. Without you, I think. No, yeah, no, I'm sure. You'd share. Hmm. Well, Invite me. Uh... How close is he? He's right behind you. So you could just He's right around. behind me? Yep. You I no. take out my holy symbol of Ravenkind. Oh yeah. His eyes widen and as I... we roll initiative. I can't do this. We'll see if you have the better initiative. I probably don't. Uh, I'll just blow up my luck. 24. 24. Better than your last one. Hemlock, what'd you get? 16. Better than last time. 24 is my highest I can roll. You got a nat 20. Wow. 10 I did. Tam. 14. Nim? 6. Oh. And Strahd got a 38. And. And we all are, you know, dead. But. Wow, you're starting to sound like Blake. 
That's some that's some Biff Whalen talk. <laughs> anyway. So you and Strahd are the only two that aren't surprised on the first round. You got a better initiative than him. So what are you doing in the season? <gasps> Um, I make the symbol flare with holy power. Vampires and vampires spawn within 30 feet of the holy symbol. When it flares, must make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. On a fail save, the target is paralyzed for one minute. Sixteen. Really? I hate him so <laughs> Uh, he moves up to you and he strikes at you since you both are the only ones that aren't surprised so he's next does a 15 hit uh no uh oh yeah I guess now because we're back to regular armor class so 15 does it yeah Okay. Wait, I, I have armor class 15, so that it still hits, right? Yeah, if it matches, it hits. Okay. Because it has to make it or higher. Okay. You, you immediately get scratched by his talons. Thinking... Six magical piercing damage. And... Oh. Oh, sorry, I was using the wrong dice. Forget that. Never mind. It wasn't six. There we go. That's much better. Uh, ten bludgeoning damage. My bad. Plus fifteen Whoa. necrotic damage. As he swipes I'm faster than you can see, scratches you with that, and he takes the icon out of your hand. Or he actually, that's not fair. He has it in his hand too, and you both are contesting a hold of it. Well, he's... and he looks at you and says, "Where did you get this?" As his face seems to turn more demonic, and his nostrils flare, seeming to look well... less like a batra and more like a, almost like a draconic creature. As his fangs grow a little bit, looks very angry at you. And then that's when we go into normal initiative. Um, Saxton. I cast Crusader's Mantle. The sword goes... Fine. And lets you cast it. It doesn't actually say so, that, but you get that like reluctant okay feeling from it. So all <laughs> allies attacks within my range of, what is it, 30 feet... Gain a 1d4 radiant damage on their attacks. Is it melee attacks or just attack? Hits with any weapon attack. Okay, so it has to be a weapon attack. It can't be spelled. Got it. All right, so I'm going to charge in and uh, swipe with the sword. All right. Okay, apparently I didn't waste all of my uh, luck there. Nat 20. Hey, roll me that D hundred. I'm gonna fail the rest of the night. I know it. Forty nine. Thirty nine. Yes. Uh, you stab him right in the eyes. You're blinded. And your next turn. All right. And as you're doing that, his other hand pulls up. And as he twists it like this, in front of him, you just see this ethereal barrier of spikes show up as you're swinging. And as you hit him, he casted Spiny Shield, a Humblewood spell, as a reaction. Feeling. Three piercing damage to you. Okay. And it stays there. No. It's like the shield spell, but with a little twist to it. you do anything else in your turn? Well, let's see. Uh, hit him. Well, you gotta now calculate the damage here. So, 
He takes 14 magic from the sword plus. Okay. Now, do you, uh, since it was a 20, does that double the radiant damage? He, it doubles the damage dice, and it's an extra d4, right? So it'd be an extra 2d4 instead. All right, so that would be four, uh, four radiant damage total. Oh. Yeah. And I'm going to go with, keep going with Fury of Blows. Okay. Dirty 20. Dirty 20 does hit, yes. Uh, seven magical. Okay. And four radiant. Okay. He cannot make any reaction attacks. All right. Second attack, 18. 18 hits. Oh, sorry, my bad. From that last strike, you take five piercing damage. Okay. And then, 10. And then 18 hits as well. So okay. you take another four on top of that. Okay. So as you're getting cut by these ethereal thorns. Watch. Not one time. Okay, so that's Not ten magical and three more radiant. Okay. And, and I need a stress save. Let's see. He got a six, but he decides to succeed. Okay, so I will back out of his melee range. Okay. And that's your turn? That's my turn. All right, at the end of your turn, as a legendary action, um, Hemlock, give me a strength saving throw. What do you have genius? You have a plus five. You can do that as a reaction? Ten. Yeah, it's a reaction. Ten total? That's Ten. plus five? Ten. Yes. I rolled a four. I have plus one of my strength. <laughs> it's plus five. Ten. He yanks the icon out of your hand. And he says, "As a reaction, enough, can I like, tackle him?" Enough games. As he looks over at Saxton, and all those blows you just did to him, Saxton, you see them immediately revert, like it never happened. Even if he took radiant damage, including the radiant damage. Hmm. As he holds the icon in his hand, almost like he's cr trying to crush it. What did you want to try to do as a reaction? Can I jump on his back as a reaction? No. <laughs> Can I drag on my sister? You might be able to oh, as your action. Up. You can. No, I it. can't do it. Uh, it is your turn next. All right. Wait, was the strength a reaction turn? from him? No, it's a legendary action. They're technically different. And he already used his reaction before you did that to cast the spiny shield. Yeah, uh, legendary okay, creatures so are BS. I, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm sure that this is fact, but I need to use, I need to ho be holding the holy symbol in order to use it, right? Correct. You are currently still attuned to it as well. But you can't use it if it's not in your hand. If I jump on it and grab it with my hand, can I use my action to use it? Yes. Normally you would provoke an attack, but your friend uh, has helped you there and he's 
distracted anyway and already used his reaction, so he couldn't use a reaction to attack you. Okay, I would like to basically jump on it, hold it with both hands, and uh, make it shed sunlight on right on Strahd. All right, how many yes. charges do you have left? Uh, do you have enough I, to do that? I use six, so I have four. Yes, I do. Okay, I thought because it was, was only one to. Uh, it was only one to hold vampire, and it's five for sunlight. Okay. You said you had four left. That's why. And I was there's like, ten like, charges. Mm -hmm. I have four left now. All right. Let's see. Um, sunlight immediately emits and starts burning his hand. Um, does he drop oh, it? He does not. Do you do anything else in your turn? Uh, I say, um, whatever you do, don't let him have it. He snarls at you as and, you see uh, him starting to burn, especially his arm that's holding it. But his face is also starting to burn. This is the most important thing that we have. I shouldn't have done anything to present it to him. And now I just make sure he doesn't take it. And I keep holding on to it and try to like pull it back, but I can't use my action to pull it back. Um. All right. Um. At the end of your turn, This this is this is sixty feet because it's a thirty foot radius. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting at where Strahd is. I will start. I will finish like where he's gonna go, and then another thirty feet of dim light. Uh. So, I'm just I'm just making sure that that's still gonna. That's the thing because mm -hmm. it definitely is a thing. You can definitely see it's affecting him. Okay. Um, but as a legendary action, he lets go of it, and you see him retreat away from you guys and hide behind a tree, a tree big enough for total cover, obscuring him from the daylight. As he puts his cloak up, and he hisses, and just seems to move back uh, towards the tree at a I supernaturally keep... quick pace. I I can still use my action to move, right? Or I can I can still move in my action, or it's start it's done my turn, right? Uh, he will not. He doesn't do this until the end of your turn. Okay. So um, after you, it's Tim Tam's turn. Tim okay. Tam, come take it. Uh, you have it, right? You come take it. <laughs> I mean, um, for my understanding, the thing fell down and he went back into a tree, right? Him and Hemlock were holding the item, the icon of Ravenloft. Yes. She, when she grabbed it, she activated the sunlight ability on it. So it started emitting sunlight. He let go of it and he retreated okay. away and hid behind a tree away from the sunlight. And what happened with the the amulet? It fell to the ground? Or, it is in a hemlock. Or does hemlock have it? Yes. Okay, it's in hemlock. I will shoot a firebolt at the tree where he's hiding, and it should immediately ignite. All right, roll fire. Because it's an object, right? Yeah. I'm just... Uh, so how much fire damage? To hit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It, it hits. Uh, I mean, like, okay. how much fire damage do you do to the tree? Okay, I get it. I get you now. Um, eighteen fire damage. All right, 
The tree engulfs in fire. Okay, I'll move uh, towards Hemlock. All right, as you move towards Hemlock, he says, uh, Strahd says from behind the tree, you will regret this. I was letting you live for now, but I can see that it is not fun anymore. Uh, after after nope. that, um, it is our wizard's turn. So the wizard, seeing that he's been deterred by sunlight and has retreated behind the tree that's now on fire, Says, uh, quick, while I was distracted. This way. And he, um, starts running the other direction. As he does, he's casting a spell. And as he casts it on himself, four versions of him appear as he casts mirror image. Keep that item with you. As he starts running uphill in these woods, in the direction you guys were originally going. Um, after him, it is Nim's turn. Well, I have absolutely no reason to not follow him. So... You follow the wizard? I was going to say Yellow Brick Road, but yeah um full move action to dash and i'll take another bonus action for the dodge all right um uh, with your move you're like the next one. Oh, he's a wizard <laughs> you move 30 feet then okay well i'll be 30 feet in front of him then okay <laughs> wait for him to catch up okay um after you it is Strahd's turn Uh, is not a happy camp. You can kill me. It's fine. And he has a lot of stuff, so... Okay. That's a bonus. All right, so um, he does a thing with the bonus action that none of you hear or see. Um, he then yeah, so um. None of you can see him because he gets total cover behind this tree. So Strad goes. And everybody give me perception checks. Fourteen. 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 Nineteen. You're the furthest away, you still got. <laughs> 
you hear something very small rustle through the leaves up above the tree. Just little bits of rustle, almost like a squirrel going through the tree. And Strahd was underneath and using his cover. Then, we loop back around to Saxton. So, does Hemlock still have the idol, or does she give it to Tim Tim? Actually, what am I saying? I totally forgot. You hear that, and as you hear that, you hear coming from the coming from the woods, um, more rustling from the direction you guys came from. Oh. And popping out of some of the bushes, you see a few druids. They aren't close enough to cast spells at you. You're not, you're not within that range yet. And then it's Saxon's turn, I'm sorry. Uh, so does Hemlock still have the idol, or does she give it to Tim Tim? I still have it. Uh, Tim Tim never took it from me. Uh, What's your uh, health looking like? It's all uh, it's looking like a one. That's why I said he should take it. Uh, do you want me to hold on to it, and catch up with the, with the monk, get it the furthest away from Strud? Yeah. Do you want me to carry you and run with the idol? Yes. Will that slow you down? Voice in the sky? Uh, if you're carrying somebody, you're moving at half speed. Still fast. But so you're if a I monk, dash, so that's still not too bad. Yeah. All right. So I will pick up Hemlock and dash and we'll both move 50 feet away. All right. So as you, the as you move away, a huge amount of light coming from this icon showing, down. revealing the druids in the woods coming towards you guys in the distance. They seem to fade into darkness as you grab her and move off towards the uphill towards the, um, the wizard and them. All right, that's it for me. And block. Do you do anything? Currently uh, being carried. Let me see. I, uh... Do you have to hold concentration on the sun thing? No, it doesn't say I do. It says it lasts 10 minutes or until I dispel it. That's nice. Yeah. Um, so, I... If you recall, it's a um, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably wearing it, so he yanked it off of my neck, and then mm -hmm. yeah, you now can't, I'm holding it. Yeah, you hand. can't wear it now. Cause, yeah. yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, That's I'm because I was carrying to, you. I'm, I'm going to heal myself uh, with the uh, icon of Ravenloft again, and that's, I think, uh, let me let me make sure because it doesn't say. Um, the icon of Ravenloft, uh, you can only use that heal thing once. It, oh, means, really? Yeah. Okay, cool. I, then I don't. I'm at one hit point. And uh, I f cry, but that's a free action. Um, yeah, I, I can't do anything. Well, can I, can I Eldritch Blast, like, from the, I'm sure he's, like, carrying me, like, fireman style, so, like, can I Eldritch Blast? Uh, yeah, sure. What are you going to Eldritch Blast? I'm going to, uh, Try to knock down the tree, if I can, that's in front of the druids, or dryads, or whatever they are. <laughs> they're, they're definitely druids. 
They're the crazy people okay. in, in mud. That's pretty much all come off at this point. Um, the parts that of mud that's still there it got covered in like bristles and twigs and stuff as the mud turned into like an adhesive for that. Uh, so it's two um, things going at the tree. One of them is a 16 at, to hit, and the other one is a 13 to hit. Okay. With the 18 fire damage and it being on fire and you shooting it with force, I'm going to say you knock the tree down. Okay. As you guys hear the snapping of wood as this tree just falls down. Then I fall asleep. <laughs> Did we just the a forest tree, fire? The tree that falls down, um, parts of its branches and stuff that break off are on fire, and they start catching a little bit of the rest of the place on fire. You see, no sign of strength. Did we just cause a? We just California did. I mean, congratulations! Me it's a vampire. We don't want to shut the fire though. And the druids immediately break off their chase. Um, and they cast some kind of cold-like spell you see, and it looks pretty much like the equivalent of like a fire extinguisher. They're casting Frostbite Cantrip, and they're putting out the fires, as that seems to be their main priority now. You guys. And you guys safely escape. My bad. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. After after about a trout uh, hours worth of trap no not even an hour I keep forgetting how small this place is after a maybe twenty minutes of travel up this hill you realize it's not a hill it's a mountain that he's leading you up and he seems very paranoid um, he's like a very schizophrenic cat you know just constantly looking around but because he's a strig his body is staying where it's at but his head just keeps rotating in weird directions. Which Saxton is, you know, it's like, whatever. He's just a really paranoid story. Um, and he eventually leads you to just a random spot on the side of the mountain. And he puts his hand out, and he seems to grab something. And as he pulls, it's an invisible door. And opening inside, you see this, ex this what seems to be the interior of a really nice house. Quick, quick inside. Inside. Where? Everybody's inside? Immediately dash inside, yeah. Okay. He shuts the door. And as he shuts the door, he just like has the back of the door and his like his very fluffy bosom, because he's a, a bird, just You almost got me killed. As he scoffs and he goes over to um, a, a really nice, long, mahogany table. But it seems to be grown from the ground itself. It's like you guys are like inside a tree. It seems to be growing out from the tree. And it's like a wood knot shaped as a long table. Yama? And as he sits down in a very nice... Uh, chair uh, floating over to him is a silver plate just floats over to him a silver platter and that's what Hemlock would have, uh, wakes up to she sees yeah I've already set her down on the ground she, uh, you wake up seeing uh, once again another floating silver platter and for a brief uh, moment you think you're in the castle but then you realize this is very different this is like you're inside a tree, like you're at Alderheart, not like the castle. Yeah, it's my bad that I almost got you killed. I'm running really low. It's been a long day, and uh, I kind of need to sit down, and she'll just sit on the floor. Uh, as, you, as you sit on the floor... Um, a pillow floats over towards you and then goes on the ground next to you. Big enough to sit on. Okay. I, I, I'll, uh... As you go to get up, it like seems to... like You just see imprints of hands 
on the pillow is it like scoots it over for you and then you can just sit down right where you were you can always can roll our kind of checks um, if you want yeah i don't really care i'm going to sit down too because i'm beat okay I so this roll. is the interior of a, of a mansion equivalent in humblewood so imagine like in a normal D D setting a very nice druid's home that's inside a giant tree it's like that there's all the food and water you guys could want and need. Um, and a bunch of really nice furniture. And beds. Well, appreciate it letting us uh, come in. You mind if we crash here for a little while and get, get our breather? Yes, that is the point. But before that, I wanted to discuss some things with you. It's you? about regrowing my tail feathers. Who are you? Is that an owl pun? No, it's not no an owl pun. I'm being serious. If we came from Humblewood, uh, somehow stumbled into this dark, macabre area, next thing you know, a house is trying to kill us. Um, um, oh, Humblewood. But then what brought you here? Why did you come here? Honestly, we, we have no idea. Up. We woke up here. Ah, so you're like me. Yeah. About a year ago, I got trapped in this cursed realm. Run by that dark lord. I'm not quite sure how I got here. In fact, I don't remember anything about myself from before then. I don't even remember my own name. Well, since we've been here, we've been attacked by house, gold chil uh, ghost children, goats, fires have just been erupting all around us. It's, it's been an interesting time. Yes, this does seem very horrible. Very dreadful, to say the least. You said that you needed me or something? We were told uh, by, by a fortune teller. A fortune a teller? Fort She gave each uh, <clears throat> she gave each of us uh, fortunes to told us to seek out. One of them was to locate you. So she knew me specifically, this Madam Eva. She didn't mention you by name. She just said, "Search for a, basically a crazy guy living up in the mountains." Mm. So some diviner sage sent you here for me. She probably did it on purpose in order to get Strahd to me. Oh. Probably knew that his interests would be on new people being in the realm. That you trying to find me would lead him to me as well. Apparently the couple of the other ones uh was to reveal this blade right here and the charm that she almost died for. I will say the blade was not one of the fortunes that you have. Oh, okay. Someone's scratching at your door. Yep. Sorry, folks. Having a little technical difficulties. But we'll continue time. So. Reckons. So now what do we do? Well, I was hoping you could tell us. I don't have a spell book, so I can't. 
Um, have any new spells. Can't switch out what I have. But I do know I do not like that man. And he seems to have some vendetta against him. Uh, Must Tim be from Tom. part of my past, I don't know. Our other one of our other fellow uh, magic users, maybe he might be able to help you with that. No, he wouldn't be able to. Help. I don't know much about books, but I know we could make a new one if you remember uh, the spells. A new book. Yeah. You know, you know, of a place to buy a blank. Spell book and the ink required to write down all of those spells. That'd be a significant amount of gold. Yeah. Doesn't exactly look like you're uh, squatting in poverty or in here. Oh, this is this is just a spell. It's a pocket dimension. Nothing of real permanent value here. It'll be gone in eight hours. Don't remember what this was called. Magenta Mansion? No. It's a spell. Oh. And he puts like his fingers up, his talons up to his temples, and he's like trying to think. Not be able to purchase one. I'm sure we could uh, acquire one by other means. As far as I knew, I was the only wizard in these lands, in this valley. You know, of, you do know of another one of which I can get a book from. No. Well, I tire of conversation. Let us rest. We will part ways after that. You, by any chance, uh, you don't know what that workrow thing was, right? Who that workrow thing was in the... I've had my theories. I've been trying to contact them, but they've been very reclusive. They appear to be a group that's fighting against the Dark Lord himself. They seem to have a lot of ravens know? as their allies, but I can never quite figure out who they are. I do not risk going into towns. That's fair. Okay, um, he was... Excuse or me, they little, were... Miss Mopak, you're on the other side of the table. I can barely hear you. What is happening? Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, kind of. You're very laggy, though. Uh... <laughs> uh I said, uh... Yeah, uh I know the, the ravens. Uh, they're my friends. I told them I would help them. Yeah, and they told us to go north, was when we were fighting in the tree thing. Did they want you to go to that settlement up there? Also, there's a settlement. I mean, since we are parting ways tomorrow, we may as well check that other lead. The crossroads sign said it was called Kresik. They have very high so walls think... and a lot of trees. And there appears to be a giant church up at the top of the hill. Sad. Okay. So the crow wanted us to go there. Is there any way we can convince you to join us? No, no, I, I shouldn't. It'd be too dangerous. To die. I don't know. Why I don't. I, I, don't you? I don't know I what. Have a disguise thing. 
No, no, I've, no, no, I've tried to disguise this before. The only disguise I can do oh, is... This is, a, this is a good one. This is a good... No, I'm, I, I... No, I won't join you. How, how long have you been in hiding? About, about a year. And you want to spend the rest of your life in hiding? Always looking over your shoulder, always living in fear? What if there's a chance we can stop this, end him, free this land? Well, you all seem quite capable. And that amulet of yours seems quite powerful. Kind of got us into a sticky situation a few minutes ago. And your uh, lightning ability it could come in handy. That's the first time I have seen him scared. If he wants it that badly, then it must be extremely important that we keep it safe. My thoughts exactly. I will not travel with you. But when you need me most, I'll be there. Do we ever signal you somehow, or are you just... How will you know? A wizard always knows, and they arrive precisely when they need to. I don't know why I heard that. I heard that song. Just thing great people say. Hmm. Must have been someone I know. Or knew. Regardless, uh, the beds here are very real and very soft and warm. Yeah. I am sure that uh, you all would like that instead of camping up in the woods. Yeah, thank you. But be wary. Now he has his eye upon you. He might be sending more agents to kill you. I've seen him toy with people before. But it looks like he's not going to do that with you now. And all of your time here, has the, it always been this cloudy, all this drizzly? Always. I have never seen the sun here. Not once. There was an abandoned city. It's now more of a bog to the east of here, past this mountain. I believe the old. What did that old sign say? Berez? What the city was called? I remember hearing whispers and rumors. From random hunters that I was spying on to get information, but apparently there might be secrets that could be helpful to you. Though there appears to be an old witch that lives there, and I dare not. So it should probably be the fourth, fifth, sixth witch we've come across thus far. Oh, she's not like the other witches. I believe she's the head of the coven. You're currently muted, my dear Mopak. I believe the term is Khaled. <laughs> my microphone isn't working, so I'm trying to get it to work. Hmm. I I can I can hear you, but it's like like fifty decibels too low. A very long I table. Don't know what's happening, so I'm trying to figure it out. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you guys I'm take a. Sorry. <laughs> you guys take a long rest. Yes, please. Indeed. Name squeak for yes. We'll go with it. Yes. <laughs> All right. I would love a long rest. Can you hear me now? I. I can hear you, but you're still really quiet. So you might have to shout in your mic. Uh, 
I heard that. <laughs> so, now you all in d d Beyond can mark long rest and confirm long rest. No encounter ah. tables are going to be rolled. You guys are in a pocket dimension. My leg. So. I like this spell. So. We should. I should get it. I don't. We switch back to the phone. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, sure. The um, long rest goes without a um, without a hitch, but you all wake up, and you wake up on the side of the mountain where the door originally was. You actually wake up to the cold chill of the winds up here. Even though you all were in like nice beds with with uh, big comforter sheets on them and fifty pillows. Is our wizard friend gone or he is nowhere to be seen or heard. You just hear the howling of the winds on the side of the mountain. Down below, you can see the trees and such for the, all the woods around. All evergreen trees. Um, you can see smoke still coming up from the spot where you guys were. About a half a mile up north from where you're at on the side of this mountain. But you do see uh, as well that there's a river that streams downwards um, to the southeast and it's like heading southeast and you can see what uh appears to be a lake to your right not oh, center on the side of the mountain and you can see way in the distance that big hill that you guys are at and even further than that you see another clearing in the woods but you can't quite see what's in that clearing and after that it's just m misted fog from this height, does it look like the, the lake that we encountered earlier in our travels? No, this one's smaller. And definitely in a completely different area. Alright, so do we want to head east towards the city he was talking about, or north towards the encampment that the, the crows want us to go to? No, which one would be closer? You don't know. Nah, I was asking Saxon. Oh, well. Bill's the answer. So he doesn't know. Okay. okay. How high um, up are we? Uh, a few hundred feet. Oh, I'm sorry. You're on the I side of a mountain. For so. I forgot to do my shtick. Um, I climb the closest tree, get up to above the tree canopy, and. There are no. There are no trees. You are far above the trees on the side of the mountain. Oh. How high to the uh, peak? Uh, unlike that other mountain before, the clouds don't seem to block your way to the peak. But you can see that you're maybe a fourth of the way up. This mountain's even bigger than the previous. Well, do we want to the climb clouds, and get a... Clouds seem to swirl up there with mallets. If I go a portion of the way up, would I be able to scout the area? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to do a few, take a few minutes to do that. All right. Um, Mind if I go with? Doesn't matter to me. All right, I'll go with them to the peak. All right, just give me um, athletics checks for both of you. Um. Nim, I'll allow you to use your decks for athletics. No, that makes no sense. You need the acrobatics for all the jumping? Okay, ac acrobatics or athletics. I think <laughs> okay. Saxton's better with acrobatics anyway. Saxton is? 
Well, I got a 26 with uh, acrobatics. Yeah. A 28. All right. In no time at all, you guys get to a nice spot up on the, on the mountainside above where you guys were and are surveying the area. You see this lake down below to the east. And you can see feeding into the lake uh, is this river. But as you look up further past the river, it appears like it's like a marshy area where the river seem to branch off a whole bunch. And a lot of the, air, the land around it is a wetland. And you give me a perception check. Since you're really looking around here. Which one of us? Uh, both. Twenty-four. Thirteen. Um, you can just barely make out that there seems to be maybe some buildings there. It's kind of hard to tell. It's pretty foggy. Um, Nim, you are looking at that when you notice that the light, even though it is very low light here, and it always is, um, for just a brief moment, everything around you guys seems to get darker. But you, you notice that because of your perception check. Because even though you were focusing really far away, you just noticed like the area around you went from like low light to just dark. And it wasn't like instant, it just like faded into it. And you all feel and both of you feel a sudden gust of wind. A few we moments later, both uh, Tim Tam and Hemlock also and Would Nim, it really get that dark around us since the sword emits light? And Nim, do you? What do you do? I was just going to say we should probably get back to the others if that's going to prevent us from being able to see very far All right. into the distance because I know the sword probably only does, what, 60 uh, dim light? As you say that, um, you see in the sky above what appears to be some kind of bird. This bird is immensely huge. This thing is impossibly huge. Oh no. As it soars from the mountaintop down towards the lake you see below. And both Tim Tam and Hemlock definitely see this as well, but just you two see it. There's a very loud, very ear-piercing screech from this. It looks like it's a giant hawk of some kind, maybe. Now, when I say giant, I mean the wingspan is probably 200. This thing's a kaiju. I'm excited. Maybe it's as a it, friend. As it glides down. Um, the mountain, and you guys hear like the Fantasia, um, like dun 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 dun, as it just ominously glides down towards the lake, and it starts circling around it. The lake so, isn't. Go ahead. I was gonna say so. Very, I avoid that area. Very wide circle, as it seems to actually not just circle the lake, but the mountain itself. We, the lake's not familiar, is it? No. Okay. This one's definitely completely different. Like it's probably it's about the half the size as the other one. Do we see like a, either the encampment to the north or to the east? Mm, the one to the east is the one I mentioned that's like up on the river that looks like you can just kind of make out some buildings. But there seems to be a, a low hanging mist in that area. So it's kind of hard to see what's actually on the ground. You just see a few what appear to be maybe what used to be homemade buildings, but have definitely been destroyed and it's just like the foundation and like a few support beams poking up out of the mist's top. And we don't see anything else as far as settlements or landmarks? No. Okay. Well, I th landmarks, the giant hill is straight north. Well, yeah. If that's the case, then I think the bog would be closer. And the wall of mist is to the west, 
to your left. Oh, actually, since you guys are so up so high and you got such a good advantage, uh, vantage point, not advantage point. Um, you actually see something else to the west. Uh, as you look west into the curtain of fog, you see a white fortress on a hill above a great city. The city appears quite distant, maybe quite distant, maybe a mile away. The fog obscures all the detail. You can hear what sounds like the echo of a church in the wind. Wait, a mile is distant? Relatively. It's a mile into the fog. No. Oh. I would say at this distance, it's probably more like two miles. Like that. So, <laughs> Hemlock and Tim Tam, you see this giant effing bird fly by. What are you? What are you guys thinking? Maybe it's a friend. Oh gosh, she's gonna talk to it. No, um... I think we should go talk to it. <laughs> I think just a flap of its wing of its wings can kill us, so I shouldn't approach it. Well it what what if what if okay, you stay here, I'll go talk to it. And oh. if it's not if it's not friendly, then it's not friendly. <sighs> I don't think it's a good idea at all. It could be like... How many friendly things we've seen well, around I mean, in the wild? It's a it's a bird, and I've been friends with a lot of birds. <laughs> I've been just coming the up with the bottom gets, of my thing. The sky gets dark again <laughs> as it circles around the mountain again. Uh... Maybe it's looking for something. It's then that um, but... any of you looking towards the lake see something big shift in the water. And you think you just see the end of a tail go into the water. Okay, this is getting into that thing. We should look at that. <laughs> at this point, I think Nim would be just bulleting down the side of the hill trying to scream towards Hemlock. No! Not again! No I was going to ask if you want me to airlift you down there. Yes, as quickly as we can. Try to stop him like, from talking to that one, too. All right, no. so we'll, we'll zoom, zoom down the hill. So you zoom down the hill and you're screaming at Hemlock to stop? To prevent her from doing exactly what we know she's about to do, yes. Okay. It circles around and it was like doing like an S bend as it saw something ripple into the lake. And then you hear from above, stop! from Nim as Nim and Saxton start coming down the mountain towards you guys. Why are they yelling? That's just going to cause it. The and the giant look at bird continues circling around and it starts heading your guys' direction. What do you guys do? Uh, There's no I cover. Run... <laughs> I, I, mm, I run towards Nim to like tackle her in like a hug so that the thing doesn't thinks that we're rocks or something and we're goes over gliding it. oh okay i yeah. thought that she, i thought she was running towards me okay um i say uh do i have thumb turn i do that's a bad idea <laughs> it didn't work last time uh mm. Uh, I, uh, I'll i let you guys say what you're doing first. <laughs> you guys do see Hemlock coming up towards you guys. Oh, Damn. How close to the tree line? The tree line's about 200 feet down the mountain. How far can you guys glide? Hemlock I can glide. glide. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm asking Tim Tam and Saxon. <laughs> I mean, I can't like my movement, I guess. 
down. What I will do is uh, reduce myself with a reduce spell. May I make a suggestion? Attack. Yeah. <laughs> if you reduce Hemlock, you could carry her. But Hemlock went to tackle Nim. And right. I am left in the open. Grab the chloroform, put it around her muzzle, and let's go. So I'm currently with Saxton gliding down the mountain. She's okay. Nowhere okay. near me. That was. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So uh, Hemlock, give me an acrobatics to... or athletics check as you're climbing up the mountain. Acrobatics. Uh, 15. Okay. So you're making good progress up there. So I'll say you made half your movement speed up. Come out. Uh, that's pretty good. And I will at this point. This giant bird is very, very close. And you notice Tim Tam that it's ire. It's leering down towards the little raccoon as we roll initiative. And it's flying downwards towards her. Almost to a dive. Almost into a dive. Okay. That's a bad. That's I'm a good bad. <laughs> I'll admit that was my bad. Nineteen. Nineteen. Wait, did we get multiple nineteens? Sorry, can we can uh, we reset everybody's? What was what was Hemlock's? Sixteen. Okay. Uh, Sexta. Nineteen. Yeah, that was the 19. I heard. Tim Tam? 19. But Saxton goes first. <laughs> okay. And Nim? 22. All right. Nim, you are first. As you see this gargantuan-sized hawk vulture thing start flying down, is flying down towards Hemlock. Who is about 40 feet below you. Oh, it's heading towards Hemlock. Yes. You can definitely see that in its eyes. Um, and it is about 120 feet away from her. By the time initiative is pulled. And okay. that's why I said you guys were like only 40 feet apart at this point. Because you were going down and she was going up. And um, okay. Tim Tam, you are... Another 60 feet down below. Okay. So if I'm still gliding with Saxton, I do believe I'll hold my action to dodge. Well, you don't really hold the action to dodge. You just yeah, take I, the dodge. Re I realized it as soon as I said that. So you um, take the dodge action. I can't hide and dodge, can I? No. Definitely not right now. You cannot hide right now. Unless you have some magical way of concealing yourself. No, because we haven't found anywhere to buy crap like that. Also, uh, yeah. an owl's carrying you through the air. <laughs> well, to be fair, I could probably um, just hang from his feet and be hiding that way. At least out of sight. But yeah, I'll just hold the... Dodge not from this thing. The, I will take the dodge action. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. All right. I'm not doing too good. Saxton, you're, um, hmm. How far away is this thing? It is 130 feet away from you right now. And there's no way for you to get to it until it moves closer. Since you can't fly and you're just going downhill as a glide. Come to me! Come to me! What, you want me to grab you too? Get over here! <laughs> As you're gliding, you notice that the wind and gusts of wind that were on the mountain all ceased. You're gone. This is things diving towards you. As you're towards your group, anyway. All right, I'll land near Hemlock and uh, ready a dodge as well. Tim, Tim, stay where you are! 
It's Tim Tam's turn. Okay, so that you thing look for is... Tim Tam. And Tim Tam must be further down than you thought. He looks a lot smaller than you expected from this distance. Uh, I can assume it's... I mean, okay. So I see this huge, well, gargantuan thing nose diving at my friends because they are all together now. Mm -hmm. I think um, uh, you're the kaiju expert. Is it Rodan? Big yeah, I assume it's like it's Rodan. Like, yeah. Like that size. There's technically one guy you call the giant condor, but we don't talk about it. Okay, this is the this is the actually scary version of that one. Um, can I assume it's a visual predator since you mentioned a hawk? Yeah, it's like a couple times. It's kind of like a hawk vulture like thing. It's got like the vultures thing going. Black tattered feathers. If I, if I cast a fa fa fairy fire into something, would that bird see it? Yes. Okay, I will drop my turret, cast fairy fire on it, and make it run and shoot fire on the air. Okay. Uh, uh, opposite direction. Actually, really quickly before you do that, you can roll me either an arcana or a nature check on this creature. Arcana. Uh, 22. This is a creature that you've heard of from Legends. It is called a rock. Now, in modern English, that sounds like a really dumb name. No! But it's R O C. Yes. And these titanic sized birds um, are apex predators, and you've only heard of one existing in a cursed land. You're thinking this is the one you've heard in, as like horror stories when you were a kid. Do I think it could fall from that, from my um, decoy? Um. Uh... Oh, yeah. So the main reason I had you make that roll is because it's smarter than the average bird. <laughs> um, but also, it is a bird of... Uh, it's a hunting bird. So once it has its eyes fixed on its target and starts going after it, it ignores everything else. Right? Okay. So you're thinking it could see that, but it probably won't care. Oh, okay. Hmm. As it's then coming down, it. and it's like wings spread out like this, and its giant talons go out like this. Just heading right before you guys. Looks like it's about to land on the side of the mountain where the rest of them are up there. So there's not much you can at, do. At, yeah, at your angle... Uh, How far is it? At your angle, you're well over 100 feet, over 120 feet away. Probably 150. Since you're way down the mountain compared to the rest of them. Oops. Yeah, no, I will. I won't do anything. I mean, if it. If it gets it within reach of my. Uh, of on melee range of my friends, I will shoot a fire bolt. Uh, its eyes. Okay, so you're ready an attack act. Yeah. What's the range on Firebolt? 20, uh, 120. Okay, so you could just barely once it gets to them. Actually, no, wait, no. Yeah. They're, they'd be about 40 feet away from you. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, then, as you're ready that action, as you pull out your little tiny gun, uh, <laughs> and lock your turn. Hemlock, you notice that uh, uh, it's just completely dark, and there's like a chill down your spine, and as you look behind you, that's when you see the giant talons going straight for you. So maybe a hundred feet Saxon. away from you. I grab Saxon and them and I'm myself, and I grab I cast invisibility on all three of us. Oh shit, okay. You do anything else? Actually, no, that would be your full move to get up there and do that, and I know they're right yeah. next to you, but um, 
So that's your turn. Um, yeah. At this point, since it's the rock's turn, Tim Tam, it does go into range of where your friends were. Uh, from what you know, they're still there. You can't really see them. It's hard to tell because you're they're They got the high ground. Um, okay. Yeah. So you can fire a shot. Yeah, I will. I will aim for its eyes. Uh, do I roll with this disadvantage then? Uh, no, it's just normal roll. Okay. Unless the, unless the spell says he has a long range disadvantage or something. Oh no no. Okay. I was just because there's some aiming rules that say that if you aim, you roll this. I don't know. What oh, that, those are variant ones in the DMG. I don't use them. Oh, okay. 26 to hit. 26 hits. Definitely. Um, no, no, I'm just kidding. Everything's fine. Everything's just fine. 25. 20 fire damage. 20? Did you max out? Yeah. Sweet. No. No, no not even close, actually. I could I can deal 28 max. Oh wow. And if you were if you were not artificer and you cast it out of the yeah. next. Nice. Alright, so you hit it in the face with that. Um Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> It looks like it didn't do much. Yeah. Um, and it seems like it is so focused on its target that it doesn't it doesn't even really react to your shot. Um and its claws, you just see Tim Tam from your perspective. Its giant talons latch into the mountain and rocks seem to start falling and um roll down the hill, or not the hill, the mountain. And I'll say it's more thematic. I'm not going to make you roll check for the falling rocks. Um, okay. Oh, hey, Phoenix. What's up? They're dealing with a rock at a certain mountain. You know which one. Uh, or... A rock and some rocks. Yeah. So um, Phoenix cool. is running Curse of Strahd himself over on his channel. Um, they're not as far as you guys. And they're doing a little bit better. <laughs> Relatively, but they're but they're like at the beginning. So anyway, um, rude. We done. We we're, we're fine. <laughs> we're, we're still alive after you tried to kill us off multiple times. All right. We're. I mean, I'm impressed and proud of all of you guys. I, I am too, to be honest. Because you guys have been through hell. All right. That was last campaign. Rolling at disadvantage. Does an eighteen hit you, Hemlock? Because it can't see you, because you're invisible. It's at disadvantage. Yeah, it does. Then we don't kill Hamlock for once. <laughs> and with that, I take an opportunity attack against the bird. You were taking cool. a dodge action, weren't you? Yes, but I also have Sentinel. Okay, roll to hit. Well, wow, that's... Uh... Nat 20. All right, I'll do the D100 once I roll the damage for this. Ooh, you got lucky. Yeah, you got lucky. You only take 19 slashing damage, and you are grappled. Uh, yeah. And then, I'm having flashbacks to Zakara guy. <laughs> as the talons wrap around you and squeeze you, that's the slashing damage you take. And then you nat 20, so roll me the D100. This can be funny. Oh. Do yeah. I have to roll a concentration check for invisibility? Yes, you do. Definitely. The DC is still 10. Concentration doesn't count as a saving throw, right? Uh, it is a constitution saving throw, yes. Oh. So if you have something that helps with saving throws, that'd be. Oh my. Now would be the time. You have a plus five. Oh. I can do it like five times before a long rest. Okay, so it's that's a thirteen. Okay, you are you the spell's still up. And what did I you shout, get? you can do this to nothing. You can do this. I'm 
times the plan. Right there. But since I hit with a sentinel attack, its movement is now zero for the rest of the turn. Mm -hmm. And what did you get on the, the crit chart? Which we're using Xanathar's Lost Notes to everything else available in the DMs Guild. It's, a, I think, an Adam Adamantine bestseller or something at this point. It's one of their best-selling books. 55. 55. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. All right. Uh, so pretty much I'm going to consider the grapple being it just kind of lands and it's just standing on top of Hemlock because you stunned it. Full damage. At 14. 14 damage? Uh, yeah. All right. That's its turn for sure. It's stunned. It can't do deck. Um, after it, it is Nim's turn. Nim, it's like right on top of you. The whole mountain shakes as it impacts onto the side of the mountain. Okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to do Wait, you is cast invisibility, move. right? It was just normal invisibility? Right, Hemlock? Uh, wait, quick question. Oh, yeah, it was... Uh, it was so, regular invisible. so the second you hit with that, you're visible again. Uh, quick question: Since we were invisible, does that mean I get a stealth attack bonus? No, unless okay. you have rogue. Last nope. stuff. But it is Nim's turn. Nim, you are currently invisible. You somehow are coincidentally between two of the talons on the other leg. Okay. As this thing seemed to definitely... land, and then it like messed up its landing really bad. As you see, Saxton's like like this or something. To it's like right here on its chest. It's just... Really loud squawk okay. noise. Run. Okay. First thing I want to do is move my full movement to the side, just to get out from underneath its wings wingspan if I can. Okay. You desperately hop away from it. Um, Jumping on some random rocks that have definitely been loosened from the from the side of the mountain, and they start rolling down the mountain as well as you're getting the hell out of there. Okay. Um, What's your actually, move? wait. I want to take that back. That's that that will be my movement. But um, since I'm invisible and there's somebody within five feet of me or of the target, there's two. I want to yes, I want to take a stab at it with my needle. Okay, stab away. Because if I can do this, I get my bonus sneak attack damage. And since it's stunned, does that mean all attacks are at advantage? Yes. Ooh. That thing is ridiculously big. Yes, it is. Actually, no, no, wait, no. This You rolled a hit, and if you hit, it counts as a crit. But I'm not going to roll the um, on the table for these. Because it can make things really ridiculous. Like, if you have multiple attacks and they're stunned... It could be like, smack, you knock him 15 feet away. Smack, you knock him 10 feet towards you. Or something. Janky. You know? Okay. Well, a dirty 20 to hit. Okay, that hits. So roll double your damage dice. And I, that includes your sneak attack. Oof. I'm going to use a dice and, roller. As you quick. stab right for its heart, you actually have to hop up its leg and like half climb it. Because it's so huge. Works for me. Uh... It's my cheese. It's eight d six. Oh, that's all. So you're fireballing yeah. its heart with the needle. Indeed. Forty five piercing damage. Okay. Quick math. Okay. Here is a very loud. Um, screech from this thing and it echoes through the valley. You actually hear it come back and reverb off the mountains in the distance. All right. As you so stab I will it. take that. Sorry. Okay. You're fine. Uh, I will take my full movement, but I can use my bonus action. No, I can't use it to dodge or hide. Or. Er I can't use it to hide in the terrain right now, can I? Um, like you are currently invisible, so I would say yes. Mm, I just took an attack. Oh, no, then never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, then, yeah, uh, that'll be my 
my turn. I won't use my bonus action this time. Sorry, I'm kind of out of it. No, no, you're out of it. You're doing pretty good for out of it. You almost did 50 damage in one hit. Um, after Nim, uh, it is Saxton's turn. All right. Am I still invisible even after the... No. Both you and Nim are okay. invisible. Right now, Hemlock's right, the one invisible. Then I am going to brave jump on the back of this thing. All right. Uh, I would say opposing strength checks, but it automatically fails when it's stunned. So you climb up on its back. All right. And I'm going to start I'll swinging take, with the... With your movement, I'll take your full move to get on its back. I'll definitely be 50 that's, feet of movement. That's fine. And I'm going to start hacking away with a sword. Okay. You have advantage on your attack. Oh, 22 on the first roll? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Takes 11 damage. Okay, I just realized I messed up. Um, it doesn't auto-crit. Stun gives advantage. It's paralyzation that's auto-crit. Oh, that was without crit. But that I'm keeping, but I'm keeping Dim's damage, because that was my bad. Okay. Uh, attack with the sword again. Okay. 16. 16 hits. 11 damage. Okay. And I will start pummeling with my fist in the back of the sword with Fury of Blows. Okay. 16. This is some Shadow of the Colossus stuff right here, by the way. Um, 16 hits. It, it falls prone. And the Bird Colossus. Is... It falls prone. Yes, and takes 10 damage. All right. As it falls prone, Nim, give me a dexterity saving throw as you're right underneath it. Even with my full movement? Yes. Okay. Wasn't I in his talons? Yeah, so you, you can't. I... You're... Okay. I'm just, I just automatically fail. Okay. Yeah. Dex check is 19. 19, you just get out of the way and you're like in one of its giant feathers on its wing. That doesn't... So you it still falls on top of you, but it, the weight itself doesn't hit you. And Hemlock? Um, I would say roll, but it would be it, the deck save was to move out of the way and you can't in your current okay. condition. Uh, okay, so let me roll bludgeoning damage. As I get to have the fun of doing the DM improv, how much damage does a falling rock do? Hey, hey, this is the Maybe. joke. Two more horrors. A rock falls and you die. You take 25 blood. Don't joke. 25? Mm -hmm. And you're currently suffocating under it. You can't see anything. Okay. And you I, need a concentration right, cool. check if you're still wanting to keep that up. I, if I'm the only one who's still invisible, then uh, no. Okay. All right, did you get the uh, 10 damage from that last attack? Yes. Um, and right. as that happens, I'm going to need a dex check from you, Saxton. As the yeah, rock for is check. stunned, falls prone on the side of an elevated mountain. So it starts 20. sliding down the mountain with you on top of it. So and Tim Tam. <laughs> Tim Tam. <laughs> this thing's coming, sliding down the mountain towards you. 25. So would this technically be rock and roll? So Episode name. Rock and roll. <laughs> Seriously, man. I should probably hire you because you are great with episode names. And with my last attack, I'll do a, a kick attack, try to you know, knock this thing. Okay. 17 to hit. 17 hits. He takes eight more damage and is knocked 15 feet away. <laughs> okay, so, so he slides down to... even faster. Let's try to knock him off of uh, Hemlock. Okay, Hemlock, you are no longer grappled by it. 
but you kind of grind okay. it between the mountain and and the hard place as it slides down. So you are prone. I'm not going to say additional damage. I'm going to say that 25 was for all of this. Um, is so shit. wait, is it, is it rock and roll or between a rock and a hard place? I'm going to go with rock and roll. I think rock and roll better. Okay. Uh, and that's Saxton's turn? Yes. That was one hell of a turn, Saxton. All right. Um, after Saxton, I'm going to say you're holding yourself up on top of the back of the rock with the sword stabbed in its back, like Shadow Colossus style, and you're just holding on. I got you for three minutes! Tim Tam, a gargantuan-sized kaiju bird is rolling down the hill towards you. What do you do? So first of all, I will turn myself into normal size. Okay. I will... Okay, this is super dumb, but when I hit with the force ballista turret, it says that I can push back an enemy. I mean, when it hits, it pushes back an enemy five feet. It works with a rock because it doesn't have, like, saves or anything. And it's super damn that I can push, for example, at the rask, like, five feet just by shooting it with my tiny, tiny turret. Yeah. So I don't know. In this current situation, I'm going to say that very slightly slows down its descent down the mountain, if you want to try that. Okay. I will summon my turret, force ballista, shoot it, and I will just GDFO. <laughs> What's your movement? 30. Okay, do you dash? I can't if I summon my uh, turret. Okay. Uh, fire with your turret. I assume you're not gonna you're not gonna do the Hollywood thing where you run the direction it's going. You're gonna go to the side, right? You're running. Yeah, it will be kind of smart. I have plus five in intelligence. Yeah, I was about to say you're you're the smartest of the group. Dun, 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 I'm not wise dun, dun, dun. at all, though. Twenty eight to hit. All right, yeah, definitely hit. Almost max, yeah. Oh, it's an advantage, by the way. You didn't roll oh, an advantage. Maybe I can roll on a twenty. No, it's not gonna happen. Okay. okay. Well, you still um, hit. Saxton, there's a slight recoil as it's like rolling down the hill. There's like a your mountain. It's just like a little as it like stops for just a brief moment and keeps going. What are these speed bumps? 15, Fifteen force damage, and gets pushed back five feet. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd ever see the day that this would be something I run. Thank you. Um. All right. That's your turn. Yeah, I use my action to summon the thing, mm -hmm. shoot it with it, and moved. Yeah. Okay. Hemlock, it is your turn. You are prone on the side of the mountain. I'm prone. Oh. Yeah, because it had you like uh, grappled and then fell on top of you. So I have to use my action to get up. You use half your movement. Oh, okay, I'll use half my movement. Mm -hmm. uh, to get up, how close is the rock to me? Its beak is next to you. Uh, so it's not rolling down anymore? Oh no, it's rolling down. That's how big it is. Oh. Its feet were where you're at. And it's rolling down the hill and its head's where you're at now. That's Holy what rocks shit. do. Like I said, kaiju. Rocks aren't effing huge. Uh, I... In older editions, it would be colossal. But they get rid of the colossal size. Can we say that I already had Speak With Animals on? Because I said that I have it on all the time. You have it on all the time. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't use my action. <laughs> nope. Like... Nope. Let me double okay. check the spell. Um... For reasons. But go ahead. Uh, I say, um, I'm pretty sure that you're not very nice, uh, but, uh, you have anything to atone for before my friends kick your ass? Already doing so. It doesn't seem to understand you. Okay. Uh, I shrug. Also, it doesn't seem like it can do really anything right now because it's stunned. I shrug and I, uh, I feel so bad. Uh, I cast Witch Bolt at 4th level, 
So are we, are we really fighting a rug? Right? Okay. Wait, what are you what are you doing? It's rock type. Why are you using a lightning attack? Electric attack. I don't have anything else. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> Pokemon. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to let Rug fly. Flying. You have I'm, advantage on the roll. That was soft. Uh, advantage? Mm hmm. Because it's stunned. Okay. That, well, the first one was Cox, so I rolled again. And then. So, okay. So, 17 plus 8. That is 17 plus 8. Yep, that hits. Okay. <laughs> 20 something. I don't know. Um, 25? 25. Uh, I, uh, that's 4d12. So I have my calculator right here. Um, 48. 48. I feel like I need to like draw this or get it commissioned. This is nuts. Nice. 31 lightning damage. There's a loud crackle of lightning, uh, Saxton, as you notice up above Hemlock shoot, like, you know, Sith lightning at its face. It's pink. <laughs> but it's pink. it's pink. You smell delicious. And that's Hemlock's turn. You only used half your yes. movement to get up. Keep in mind, well, you have to I'm... stay in range, and it's going to continue rolling down the hill for your spell to keep. Yeah, I'm, but it's super big, so I'm going to uh, just keep following it down the hill. Okay. Uh, it's turn. It can't do anything because it's stunned as it continues to roll down the hill. Um, not the hill. I keep seeing hill, the mountain. And the descent seems to slow. As it rolls over top of Tim Tam, unfortunately, as I need a dex check. Because you weren't able to quite get out of the way in time. Yeah, that's fair. I will use my own reaction to uh, add a plus five. Which I didn't need, but I declared it, so... Uh, 24. Okay. Um... So you only take 10 bludgeoning damage as part of its wing just barely grazes you as it's sliding down the hill. Okay. Remember, I said it had a 200 foot wingspan. That's why I was like, even if you move 30 feet, that's still like 100 no, feet yeah, of no. wing in one direction. About 100 feet of wing in one direction. Um, and as it reaches the bottom of. As it's getting towards the bottom, I'm pretty sure in the next turn, it's going to be crashing into a bunch of trees. But it stops itself. As at the end of its turn, it's no longer stunned. And it is at that point... Um, we're going to end it tonight. And continue. Come on! And continue next time. I got it for three more rounds. Come on. I got to write down that I'm doing something and yeah. I shouldn't do anything. Why are we fighting a rock? A started it. Yeah. I didn't start it. I said he started it. Oh. She. It. Me. Nim's a she, hey. right? She's the oh. I was talking about the rock. <laughs> oh. No, technically I started it. Hey, you were trying to stop it. But... <clears throat> anyway, plugs. We're going to go in reverse order, and we're going to start with the one who started everything, Nim. Got any plugs? Uh, I can't think of any off the top of my head, no. Okay, that's, that's fair. I know you're very groggy. You did a good job tonight. Thank you for joining us. Um, Saxton, do you get any plugs? Tune in next week when we open a franchise of Ironist Fried Chicken here in Kirk Valley. The tale, the franchise never ends. Uh, 
Uh, Sim Tim, you got any plugs? Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Patreon. I do a bunch of art. And yeah, like just one tip: do not fight a rock. With it. All right, and then last but not least, Hemlock. Hi, uh, I'm Callie. Cats Callie on Twitter. Uh, you can find me there and commission me. And uh, I have uh, lower prices uh, until Saturday. Uh, so you can commission me for like half off what I normally do. Hey. Um, for those watching in I, the future, Saturday is October 3rd. Um, also, I um, have a lot of stuff going on this weekend. So uh, there's no Saffron Academy tomorrow, but on Friday, it's the long awaited uh, Yost dream sequence in our retroverse game. Uh, where my character has been a bad guy the whole time and she might do something that she'll regret. Uh, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> and I'm gonna, <laughs> and I'm, I want to make my friend Aya cry. <laughs> so this is going to be great. Um, I mean, hey, and then, you're the bad guy. <laughs> I'm the bad guy. <laughs> um, uh, and then on Saturday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is Chaos Crew. Um, we, I think, uh, speaking of Aya, her character almost got arrested last time, I think. And uh, yeah, that was fun. We're in we're we're in a cold place and there's some pirates and it's fun yeah <laughs> but watch that that's on this channel <laughs> we're in the town of luskin aren't we i think that's what it was i think so yeah i couldn't remember the name we're, we're up north somewhere in the sword coast as we're finally jumping back on the rails for the acquisitions incorporated adventure if i remember right um, okay, and then I guess me. Um, thank you everyone for watching. And uh, if you like the show and any of the other shows on here, and you're on Twitch, look down below. We have all the YouTube playlists down there. So you can get caught up on any of the series that you ha haven't watched before. To Hell We Ride is on my YouTube channel. We were just mentioning about the Asmodeus Fried Chicken. That is a whole in joke there. If you want to understand what that is, go watch that. It was a great campaign. We, it was the Descent and Avenues campaign. But, um... I think we mentioned all of the games except for Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We continue Ghost of Salt March campaign where they're also fighting a giant flying monstrosity and they're struggling with. So, um, woo. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You're there as a guest star. I am there. <laughs> they're doing a lot That's worse fun. and they're a higher level than you. Okay. But uh, I one more thing to say before it's over. Yeah, sure. I was going to just say, Tim Tam, it's not our fault between, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Ah, uh, all right. Well, <laughs> good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good night.